me to order at 6.07 p.m.? I, I have 6.04. Oh, please. I hope it's 6.04. Yeah, 6.04 p.m. Sorry. I was looking up the, I got to fix the clock. Uh, Mike Volpone. David Bull. Mariah Lucy. Yeah, Celine Mulvaney. Yeah, Mark Samuels. Okay. Uh, reading the previous minutes. We went through them real quick. Thank you, Celine, for filling in for Mark. The only typo that I saw, as I said a minute ago before, was um, the letter. There was an extra E in the word more. Other than that, I thought it was okay. Thank you. May I make a motion to accept the minutes as presented with uh, the correction of the one E and that one letter? And Lucy. And Lucy. <laughs> Missing two E's. One, uh, two one extra one. Two E's for guess within yours? Or? I added an A. Oh, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> any questions, discussions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Passes? Uh, correspondence? Nothing? Bills? Yeah, that's kind of part of it. Yeah. Hello, David. Hello. Hi. How are you? Grab a seat. Sorry to be late. <laughs> Grab a seat over here. Sure. Thanks. So we um, Hello. Are we canceling that? It's already shut off for this right. year, so in right. December we shouldn't get a bill for okay, it. Okay, this is not what. Uh, all will come out in April. Hey, wait one second, Dave. You have to introduce yourself. We're on camera, and before the meeting, we have to list everybody's name and stuff. That's all. Hi, David Dempsey. That's all you need to do. The camera's up there. Nobody's here. Where? Thanks. We're on YouTube. Um, yeah. Okay, bills. So, Gene Mello, This was a November bill. John DiFilippo, $500 to winterize the sprinkler system for the winter. Townsend Energy, uh, $52.86, and I don't know why, propane. Yeah, yeah. $52.86. Right. Okay. Just making sure it's a larger number. There's an account balance of $38.25. I'm not all sure if that's all for the rent committee. Thirty-eight twenty-five for. I don't know. They just said that all we had to pay was the fifty-two. I'm sorry, I should have shown. No, it's fine. I haven't had a chance to call. Because your our account balance is thirty-three thousand eight hundred twenty-five dollars. But I don't know if that's just us. That's to the town of Newbury. Yeah, but our amount due down here it shows fifty-two eighty-six. So I wonder if that's an annual bill or whatever. Um, I get a sneaky feeling that that is. Where, who put the word rec? Did you do that? No. Then that means we don't get it. It's as part of our. And this is a new one. Burkett Electric Company. This is a three month, three months of fire monitor. 10 1 12 31. So this to me is a recurring expense um, of $50 a month. That's for the field house, I'm guessing. Yes. Okay. So that's, that's going to have to be kind of on our budget. That's yeah. So Funny you should say that, because I'll be bringing that up in a minute. Because they'll so there'll be some recurring expenses that we don't really know about that yeah. are going to kind of. And that's well, a piece. We, well, we we did have uh, two things when we did the application to the capital plan before we did budget in many of the, these expenses. Okay. And then so this when we we did have uh, electronic security, my thought it was thirty dollars. It was going to be I was told it was going to be thirty dollars. That may be different for the residential um, as opposed to the fire. Okay. The uh, door locks and all that versus the uh, monitoring. The monitoring came in, um, the fire chief required a, uh, a, a different fire apparatus, if you will, than the, what was originally thought, of. nothing was originally planned, but he said it's required to have um, these fire, a fire monitoring. Okay, so well, okay. that's separate than in security. Well, we did it, it was all bundled up in the morning. Okay. So, but is that going to be a reoccurring expense? We're going to yes. have to, so we are. Every three months. Every three months will be 50, or is one, it? 150. 150. Yeah. Well, huh. That's all I have. Okay. Before we get started, basically, as you just talked talk about real quickly about the budget, um, Tracy has sent to us budget and all the breakdowns, so I've asked them for last year's copy to go back. 
they've given us three weeks to pull this together with Haskell back in the office by the 16th, which I thought was very nice of them. Um, I'll be emailing her. I've already emailed her and asked her for a breakdown, so we need to get an idea of what we have for expenses that are reoccurring and then adjust accordingly. Can we, can we pull it up? Uh, remember last? I don't have a copy. If you've got one, I'd love to see it. The spending plan that we put together? Yeah, he gave me a handout that day. I didn't get, I didn't get the email. Um, but they give us an idea of what we're doing, but we got to make sure we had in all the field meetings, all the stuff with the field house, um, all the sanitation stuff we have. That's just before we get to start talking about things that we're spending money on. Um, and then justifying it's kind of a little bit difficult only because the field house will be new. So those yeah. will be new expenses that we kind of budgeted money. We had ideas of what it was, but we don't have actual numbers. Somebody submitted a budget last year and to the office for us for would be fiscal 19 because um, the new one is actually fiscal 20. Um, that's coming into the 16th, so we gotta figure out how to do that. So, uh, going to old business, basketball court, capital planning is meeting Thursday morning at 8 a.m. Here, is there anybody able to make that meeting? I would like, to, I really, really want to be, but I can't because I'm coming already. I was out yesterday and I'm out again tomorrow, so I got the meeting scheduled for. I found this out the other day. If anybody's able to make it, uh, the next question is going to be is, and Mark put in the email, what amount are we going with? And I would suggest, everybody can correct me if I'm wrong, I think Davey's numbers are the right numbers. The $80,000, $90,000 numbers, what we're looking at. Dave, you also cor corroborated that, right? Yeah, yeah. And that was for what, uh, what kind of? That was the rubber ice court. Rubber ice court. Is that written in the document that you started writing? No, no, we can put, I mean, some of the details are just a matter of, Adding a word to it, we can say so rubberized. Like yeah. oh, okay. So here's the thing: yeah. I can come on Thursday, but I kind of really feel like I don't want to try. I, I can be here on Thursday. Is it 8 a.m.? 8 a.m. here. Do you want me to uh, come? Too? Yeah, that you I'll can kind of. Be, I'll come too. Okay, that way I can kind of maybe just substantiate if they ask questions about the asphalt opposed to the. the That'd be huge. That'd be surface. Yeah. Because I guarantee you, one of the things they're going to ask is they want to know the validity of the value of that piece. Yeah. Why am I spending such your money going from asphalt to this court? And one, from a value standpoint, yes, it's a little bit more, but it could last longer. Two, it's also giving on the body more, and then also could attract more type of things, so, as you mentioned last meeting. Okay, so the three of us will come. And Thank you very much for yeah. attending. You'll, do we need to, we'll go back to this document that we started? Well, the document that got submitted before, this is the one that we submitted last year. Okay, uh, let's back up for a second. When we initiated this conversation last spring, or actually it was even before that, I put together a draft to keep Tracy in the loop, just so that if there was financing coming down the pipeline, that she knows where we're at, mm -hmm. just so that something's going on there. It was a, I'll use the word, less than uh, professional. It's just, here, we're thinking about this, here's some numbers. So the numbers aren't gonna be what we've been looking oh, exactly. at. Exactly, I mean. But there's numbers in there to keep her abreast. So there's something in there. Um, so what has to be done between now and Thursday? We need to make sure that the new document is better prepared, that the Form B is complete with the, num the numbers that we're using. Form B or Form E or both? Form B is, is the important one. Form E is pretty basic of what number do you give it so they have a value to it. And this is more, Form E is more for, say you're the police department and you're looking at seven items. You know, where do you rate them and how do they fit into the picture? We have one. Yeah. So it was our priority, it's the priority. Yeah. Um, expectancy and, and that way they can look at it very um, objectively. What about like the policeman wall and the fence? That's all part of the, the whole package. Okay, so but it's still one item, it's not separate items? I'm on putting the, it uh, all together all as one. one. Okay. Uh, in, the, our, in the letter that I wrote, I did say, Retaining wall met with um, meeting the requirements of the DPW. Mm -hmm. it's, and Dave, it's an idea that if it's over, I'm going to say three feet, it has to be a fence. If you slope it at this angle, it's okay, it's good for them. Yeah. So basically, okay. let them do the uh, manipulating of, of the carrots. So, the Department of Activities, so it's a rec committee. I'm looking at this is form B right here that I'm actually going to fill out. Yeah. 
Mark, do you have a copy that I'm not? Um, I have a blank copy. I do too, yeah. so I'm just going to write it as we're going along. Yeah. Right. I'm going to type this up and, and give it to you guys for the meeting on Thursday. Um, I wouldn't try to get all the stuff as I, as the email that I sent you. It's okay if some of it is not on this piece of paper to say it passed so we can give the proper um, uh, the proper description so it's not so tiny. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does everybody have a copy of um, the, the Word document that I created? I have it. My phone is sitting in the car, and that's why I have access to neither at this point, so I'm going to have to listen to it. I, I, I'm, she, I have a copy. Oh, okay. Um, I was going to say, you just have, I think, did you email it? Yes. Because I think you emailed it to. You emailed it to the group yet, either yesterday, I think it was, or, or Friday, one or the other. Thursday, Friday, maybe? I know I sent something today to everybody. I didn't get anything today. No, I didn't get anything today. I got, the only thing I got today was your minutes. Yeah, the word document that you sent was yesterday at 11 a.m. Well, okay. Yeah. There's another document that went out today at six something. Oh, I haven't been home since. Uh, this is. Is this one? Just so you're aware, the review they reviewed. I got from Ellen, and that's what I mentioned that it's sent in my sent file. Here it is. Forwarded from Ellen for us to review for the next meeting. Okay. Six oh three tonight. Is that, that's not the one we're looking up. That's not what we need now. I didn't want. To. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It was yesterday, Dave. What you had? Yeah. Yesterday, yesterday eleven oh seven. Yesterday at what time? Eleven oh seven a.m. Who did it come from? Me. I think Mark Sands did. And oh, actually, yours comes up. Yours, it's funny. Yours comes up with a uh, the, the email instead of the your name, which is weird. S A N D T. Thank you. saying when we submitted this originally to Tracy, he got her in the loop and gave him some basic numbers. Well, now we've done more research to it, so we want to have a formal form to go in for the meeting on Thursday. Okay. For Capital Plan. Thursday morning at 8 o'clock. Yes. I'm going to try and attend that meeting. And okay. So, Celine, Dave, and Dave are going to be here for the meeting. Okay. Uh, Mark, did you say yes or no to that? I can make it. Okay. Uh, I, wasn't, but I can't. You're right. Better yes. that everybody comes. We need the more people to come. The more I, people are the better. I was unable to make this one as much as I'd love to because it's part of my course right now, too. Okay. But, um, so... Because Tracy said she did, and it's one of the reasons I went in there. She said she did give it to them last year when you gave yeah. it to them late. So they have already on their radar. They're aware of it. Yeah. So now we just have to update it and give them more, more yeah. accurate numbers. And Dave can also speak to it regarding the, uh, the value of doing what we're, the way we're looking at. So. Okay. Great. Um, so unfortunately, it's not a document that I can write into. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, so. But where's, there's another document I thought I sent. Maybe I can you print it to PDF? Do you have PDF converter? Uh, let's see. I just tried to make it into a Google Doc. Yeah. 
He's already doing, doing that, I think. Change. What does change mean? Save to Google Drive. Oh, that's what I've already done. Okay. So that's right here. So saving it to Google Drive is this. Now that lets you. Right, right, but it, it changed. The format. So welcome. Yeah, so it changed the format. See how it is here? Okay. And then over here, I mean, I can type on it, but it's not. Yeah, that's, all right. All right, that's, that's confusing. Yeah. Okay. Can you do it by hand? You've already got it done. No, I had it. I, what I sent out, or apparently I didn't send out, it didn't go out. Was a better description and justification for it. Basically, identifying what the steps we took to identify the location of this particular one, its uh, orientation to the sun, and all kinds of other stuff. Okay. I can try to reiterate some of it. All right. Um, is that something that we have to talk about, or can you just send it out? It can be. It can be written up if someone wants to take care of it. And again, if we're Mark's supposed to already get it done, um, and just for some reason we're not getting it. Um, just resend it, try to resend it again and see if we can catch it from there. Because um, after that, it's just making sure we have the right numbers attached to it. Because when we did it originally, I mean, when I did mine, we were like 50, 60 grand, and now it's really, it's closer to 90. When you look at the court and the way it's set up and everything there and the pieces what we added to. Okay. So. But I do want to, so that everybody's aware, so the language I used was a regulation size now the regulation can be high school regulation, college, pro. And I'm looking at a total length of 110 feet by, I think I said 70 feet. Which I think it was on here you put down 100 feet by 60. You have that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's usually so it's 100. Because it's, 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 it's 94, 47 by 94 right. feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we original thought was 90, I'm right, 90 by 60. But yeah. 100 by 60 is what we measured out on the field. So yeah. Yeah. We and then we get samples for spill, spillover and then a fence on the two yep. on the west side and the south side to prevent kids from running into the well, um, traffic. Uh, so there would be enough room right right. for, according to the meeting with the fire chief, for access for their vehicles to uh, get back there. I think I've covered all the bases in terms of. Did everybody else get this one? Do you have an email from the board? I don't know. I think I, yes, I did. Basically, say you look at all the different sites in town. Yeah, that's so the one, one that really fits uh, and is shovel ready. So you talked about Newbury Elementary, Plum Island. Yesterday at 11.07, I got No, it. I got it. You got the problem with we're trying to find a photographer we can convert, we can actually oh, okay. right, up. right right on. Right that's, on. That's, that's, that's all that is a straight PDF. And but then we could just say, yeah, description, see. Attached. 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 So can yeah. we, do you want to go over this document that I wrote that you have? I can't find it. Um, you, Mariah, can you actually get an email? Yep. Can you email it to us? Yeah, can you go back to yesterday at 11.07 and it's not there? It is, it's right here. No, no, the, no. The, into the email itself. In, yeah. Into the email itself. Because there was a text document or something else along with it. Yeah, we came. We came as a Word document. So it should be easy to. Well, maybe I. From, from Mark? I heard so. Yep, that's it. We'll, we'll, we'll get it. Yeah. Right, that's what he's going to get. He's, he's going to say. It was just right Capital right. Planning Committee Form B Narratives, was the heading on it. Okay, I did not receive that. All right, that. so he's. He's just sending right now? Yeah. Alright, so we can get that over to you and then we'll go from there. Okay. It's mine. I got 3,600. I have two. I wish. I need eight to add in red and another one for that. Can we go over the numbers? Uh, do you have more time to do? Okay. No, I don't, but I can. Um, did I read? I thought I left that with that information from Jess. Um, I thought I left it out. Um, yeah, I probably have.
that's why it's going to my other email. Yeah. Up, can you just go number one project title multi purpose courts? Yep, um, number two purpose of the project, add. Uh, add a new item. Yep, department priority one, it's our only one. Uh, location uh, 81 Central Street. Yep, Mr. Field description we will get to, dissertation we'll get to, the budget we will get to. Isn't that right there? He's not gonna yes. so we're good. Between the field house uh, staff to two K, that's good right there. Description install multi-purpose playing surface that is approximately 100 by 60. Okay, playing surface would have six basketball setups allowing for a full court to be played or two smaller games. If I include the big bag, I like the pickleball. That was I don't know. Was it? I'm trying to get that in the air here. Uh, uh, so it's not a four foot safety fence to be along the southern and western boundaries. They are. I thought it was four foot. It was, yeah, but we were doing. Four feet on all three sides. Yeah. Or, or, or on one side and then four partial. Four feet on one and then. So this is where the driveway is. This is where the field house is. All right, so the long length is going to be 100, but it's going to be four. So I don't know what side is this. I'm calling it south. That's south. So just say a four foot fence along the south side with um, a two foot. Two foot step. Turn Are you off. changing the yeah, paper? More than that, that's not going to stop the kids from right running to the ball. So if you, and a couple extra feet of uh, fencing isn't going to cost that much. So oh, I'd, I'd go six, ten feet. Okay. Go. It's, it's just that we had this conversation last spring a number of times. So are you able to edit that? Okay, so you want me to edit on here, not on paper? Yeah, probably better if we can just, because we're going to just kind of yeah. take a piece with it. So I do have numbers. Good. Well, right as of right now, so we look at. Okay, so you want to change four foot safety fence? We'll be along the southern mm -hmm. boundary. Okay. Uh, with a four foot or whatever foot. And extend four, four feet on both the western and eastern. Six justification and useful use and useful life. Do we need to go with limited inventory of land? We, I just want to answer the question before they say where else could this go? Why is it here? Um, one of the challenges that um, former members of the Recreation Committee was accused of is putting everything, focusing so much of their attention on um, Central Street. And having done an inventory of what the town owns, what could be done where, and trying to justify that by saying we've looked at every place, and this is the only place that logically makes sense. So should this be fall? They fall under the jurisdiction of the Trade Union School District? Yeah. Well, you can't put, you 
can't put a basketball court on oak away because you can't put permanent. No, but there is space over there, and they have to use it for storage. So the town uses that sometimes too for emergency sand dump. Right, that's where they put the excess sand. Also, the yeah. well, they've been there for a couple of years. Is the uh, lifeguard stations yep. are all parked there. And, yeah, um, mild wood. I mean, not to take anything from mild, but it's just. There's already a basketball court down there. Right, we should. Well, that's right. Down at the end. At the point. Yeah. That's going to be point. That's going to be point. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm from my yeah, Let's do that and make them pay for it. Yeah. It's yeah. like a wall. Yeah. Um, so basically saying, we've looked at every place, Does, can't go there, can't go there, this is what remains. And we could put it out here, but the cost to do that would be probably maybe a couple million to yeah. go what, back to that section of woods what? we own out there. Yeah. 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 Um, actually, it would, it would it would increase, the, as I said there, increase the, the uh, parking, more parking was not added, adding to the problems that the library already has with uh, yeah. right. Right. Yeah. 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 But what are we doing? All the way from Island Wood. Okay, then just, just current use. Uh, current, I, I didn't know what the current use was. I thought there was some parking out there, that there was some storage use. They had to move some stuff. I don't think it's big enough, that spot, even if you think it's, it's not a big area, no. Yeah. And it, and the other thing, which it's also the problem you're going to have out there is you're going to have to go through all kinds of variances with the conservation commission just to let you put even asphalt or anything out there. Yeah, that's the, exactly. It's all, it's all, yeah. it's all so doing this. So we looked. Yeah. We realized that it doesn't work. Right. But we um, can make the effort. Yeah. Okay. Not large enough, I would think. It's not not that that it's not available. It's not large enough. Also, access too. I mean, parking. Well, there is, yeah. yeah, and then you, everybody's going up to the island. And it's not large enough and accessible, easily accessible. Yeah. 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 The parcel adjacent to NES near Maple Terrace is buildable, would pose similar yeah. issues. Yeah, buildable would pose similar issues as the court didn't want. Are you talking about the small? Yes. Oh. Yeah, we're not Can dealing with it. Not large enough and easily accessible. Readily accessible. Easily. You can readily make it ready, but. Well, if you really want to show that it's undo it, not, even, not doable there, it's just put down the, you know, the, the major conservation restrictions in that area would make it impossible. Right. It's not large enough, accessible, and. I think that's good. I don't think yeah. we need yeah. to argue we about where we don't want it to be. They'll know. I yeah. think they'll yeah. Yeah. Present it. Yeah. I think they'll all realize that. Would pose similar issues as the courts at NES. You're referring to the uh, accessibility because of um, school. The, the ones, if they were to go as the aforementioned. The aforementioned sign. Okay. As the aforementioned. that as being too important. I think if we just leave it as is, I'm not even sure if it's necessary. Because honestly, you could keep arguing until the cows came home yeah. that, you know, what about the... I was going to tell you something. The, the Capital Planning Committee is not going to agree with you to put it someplace else. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So keep it simple. My advice yeah. is keep it simple. I think you're just adding more conversation. Yeah. Okay. Open houses will offset off the parking and the yeah, which... Yes, I like the next paragraph there. And then using quality materials, I think we need to inspect the course. It says last of 15 years. Do you guys even want David to be aware of length of court? What was it he's mentioning about a warranty on the court? Not a warranty, like as in, you might try to do it, but the idea has to be a time of. I mean, it's concrete. And then it's it's concrete, then the, then the court on top of the court on top of it. The other thing is, if, it, if you've got more on spots in your court within 15 years, then things have gone real, really well. You've used it. There's been a lot of activity on it. It's a good thing. So that's 
The only thing that's going to happen to a good surface core that it's going to it will wear down in certain spots where there's overuse. Mm -hmm. You know, the free throw lines will, the you know, the, paint, the surface so, and things. So work on a three-point shot. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, the way things go exactly. nowadays, I guarantee you're going to have that already. Right. So, so if, you're, if you're wearing that out in 15 right, years, okay, so it's a good problem you get the good usage. Right? Um, the only thing is uh, community partners anticipate hosting basketball tournaments to generate revenue. Is that, can well, you write that in there? Is that, or is that like... If no, we that's were good. To okay. Try, if we could demonstrate the possibility of generating some income to help offset the cost that we'd be incurring and providing the service to the citizens, then it's a good thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I just didn't know if um, but, putting I, generate revenue. I think that. it's part of the conversation. That's also a good part of the conversation regarding the fact of using going with a good athletic surface, surface opposed to an asphalt mm -hmm. surface. You're not going to get revenue from people to come in and use it and utilize the assets are going to come play. they're going to play on an asphalt. It, You're going to get yeah. leagues and AU right. tournaments and stuff like that. Right. They're going to come to this. Right. They'll come to a good court. Even a summer camp for youth and things like that where a couple of coaches want to get together and run a good summer camp. You'll get requests to be able to utilize the court, but not on an asphalt. It's almost like the saying, you build it and they come. You build it right and they'll come to it. Okay. Uh, you want to put that end quote after a regulation. Seven is the cost of recommended sources of financing. Program year fiscal year after six years, it gets justified for inflation to be paid for both. Adjustment the same year. We don't have to worry about that. We just one shot deal. Right. And the source of funding is our reserve funds. Wait, just she's still editing. Yes. So oh, that's the point. Okay. It's not on. Um, yeah, I, just, I, I, I only got one page. Yeah, there isn't another page. Yeah. And he was doing the, uh, because I didn't put the, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody just kept it in there. Okay. Everybody was just. So do you, where that says four, five, six, do you want to change that to bullets? Oh, that's up, and that's then, pertaining yeah. to those documents. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Now what's your next? Seven? Seven is uh, cost and recommended source of funding. We have to cost it. Yeah, it keeps saying we did pay. Yeah. Okay. So costs, where it costs. Yes. Uh, what do you need? Uh, how you want to work this out? Um, they're looking for the personnel number and the dollar amount. I don't think we're going to worry about the personnel no. because it's not there. It's just a purchase of, of service, nothing. Not that form. We're still on form B. You're on B. Okay. Right there. We don't. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm at materials and supplies. That's when things get fun. Okay. I, I'm looking at seven. Oh, we went to seven. I'm sorry, I was at eight. I apologize. Yeah. So do you want me to add seven onto this document? No, just seven. What would seven be, Dave? Oh, she's going to put a bullet so she knows when we're talking okay. about it. So just put seven. Yeah, so okay. seven. Projected cost to be approximately... Um, you had 35000 for the court. Uh, 20000 for uh, leveling. for the court. The hoops were running about, what do we think it was, like nine grand, ten grand? Uh, the hoops are, with install, are 3,000 each times six. That's 18. Is $18,000. So that's around 20. And then painting of the courts would be $6,000. What about the retaining wall? And the fencing. Retaining wall? The fencing I thought we already had. What, or what's the fencing? Uh, was it like three grand? No, I think she said it was like 35. I think it was 35. So I'd say four grand on that because that was a while ago. 
So if do we have a total on this, or are we? That's what we're going to be depending on our head in a second. Yeah. I got 83,000 as of right now without. So the 90 is what the number will probably be hitting at. Yeah. Okay, so the retaining wall? Yep. What without, without the retaining wall, we're at 83. Okay, it's back, Ren. Five. I'd like to do those big blocks, though, just to put them out. The prefab blocks. Yeah. Blocks. The interlock, blocks. The interlock. Oh, the big, 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 big ones. Like this by yeah. two feet by three feet. For what? Retaining wall. Oh, yeah. It, again, we have to talk, you know, Dave, you could speak better to it regarding how high it could be without a fence being around it. Um, I guess the step is like three feet. The, 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 the biggest drop over one distance is three feet. So it, it, it's 100 by 60, okay. the measurement that I took. If you go the 100 direction, which is closest to the field, there is like maybe a one inch change as far as being yeah. level. The area that goes closest to the, the marshes, that's about a three foot drop, and the area going back this way is about a two, two and a half foot drop. Okay. So that's, what, you, so that's what I gave you. So we could keep it under three feet if yeah. we grade a little bit and then put a block in that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Awesome. and your blocks would work in that. So we're going to be 83,000 or 87,000 now with that number. Well, Am I changing retaining wall? Yeah, keep that there. Keep that there. Okay. Could you do me a favor? Just put dollar signs in front of each of the, the numbers? Yeah. Just so they understand what we're talking about. Thank you. So yeah. I was quoted. Can you put? I was quoted yeah. at about 120 from our um, another company on this. So. Can you put for um, what kind of court? Rubberized. What's the, what's, the, what's, the technical, what's the technical name of this call? The surface? He's looking at it. It's a rubberized court. There's a, the, um, there's a there's something a pro, pro, something yeah. pro. What's the name of the company? The guy who's at the Fushu, the food, Robert Fushu? Yeah, uh, he had something different. He was talking, that was the paint, paint service he was talking Can about. Can we just call it a rubberized court? Yeah, that's. Hardwood, concrete, multi purpose. Multi purpose, use that. Okay. I guess it's not concrete, it's definitely not hard. Yeah. We're going to use it as a pickle, pickle ball first, though. That's fine. I'm dying if I ever speak to it. Multi purpose. Multi purpose. Okay. Mullet purpose? There we go. Multi. <laughs> okay. For a, to for a total of. I know. For, to for a total of $87,000. You still need a retaining wall. You didn't put the retaining wall on. Yeah, the walls are thin. Okay. Okay. Anyone, 5000 okay. All right. Okay. So we're at 88000 It should be 88000 It should be 88000 Should we make it seven so we round up to 90? Oh, oh we can, wanted to include a. We got to build a contingency piece onto it because you had another eight grand to. Twenty percent. Twenty percent, so that's another sixteen grand. So now you're at one hundred and four. Why don't we make it a fifteen percent? I'm not over one hundred. I'm just making sure to just said as well. Because yeah. usually it's twenty percent. Is it? Okay. Well, well, most people use fifteen. And Dave, you, you confirmed that's what I was told. Tell us uh, what's that? You're confirming that these numbers are using prevailing wage. Yeah, you have to use prevailing wage. They kind of, he kind of highballed the number when he did it. He was, he was factoring in if anything was done regarding wages and stuff. What I'm suggesting that if we have that okay, as 17 something, that we could go to them and say these numbers include or take into consideration prevailing, prevailing wage laws. That one looks like we've done our job. As yep, opposed to here's fine. the number, and then they say, oh, now we're going to have to add even more. So yeah. what's, what's 88 plus 17.6? Uh, 105.6. So, I, I got another quote from a sport course in Mass, and he, what he put down, he said that um, I said we're looking for asphalt. He said we do a little different process. We use a concrete slab, then put a sport court interlocking tile on top of it, give it a more safer, forgiving, safer place to play on. The concrete is more stable. Blah blah blah. It's got a 15-year warranty. Um, 
I don't know if your budget will allow those changes to give you some quick numbers depending on which tile you use. There are three. The hoops would range around 81 to 84K, not including additional fill or fencing if you want any. So, could we're, 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 could you send that to yeah. Mariah? We could put that in just so that, we, again, it's important that we show that we've done our, our due diligence. It's almost like we've done our own RFP process type of thing, which is, in essence, what we've done. Mm -hmm. Most of these companies do, if they're quoting you, they've already done a lot of work in municipalities. Yes, I mean, they already, so know, they already know about the prevailing wage yeah. and all that. Mariah, what, what's your, uh, I'm not going to ask, but which one to pick? Uh, 100%. Can we pick, is there a blank that I can fill in here? As we go down? Yeah, we're just, she's filling in section seven, right, what she has there. Again, I, I've seen quotes anywhere from eighty-one to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars for for this unit. Yeah, I mean ballpark. If we're, if we're shooting with, with our contingency at one hundred and seven, one hundred and five, we're about mid-range of where it is, and that's building in the piece we need to. Is yeah. this on a word doc on no. the town? No. No. Well, on the town. I, I, um, I doubt it. It's, it's an on the town website. What they have the. Uh, they build a reader. So are there operating yeah. costs? We're going to say zero. That's what I mean, we're going. It's minimal going. in terms of replace the nets, and that's going to be trivial. Yeah. But it's not an ongoing maintenance. So cost and recommended source of financing? A reserved, um, a reserved fund. Is that what we agreed upon? That's what yeah. we talked about, yes. Yeah. Is it reserve funds and, and just a revolving fund? Revolving fund, thank you. Fund and now, Dave, you had mentioned that uh, when you talked to Tracy, you said you asked for a certain amount, right? And then we can, uh, I don't know if you want to include the uh, funds that you, uh, you yeah. 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 yeah, so, so we, still, we, still got, we still got the additional money. So, we have so the way we look at it is we're going to go into it asking for okay. what it's going to, what, what we don't have any kind of funding or we don't have anyone putting any kind of money in, involved in it. We ask for, let's say it's 120 or 110 or 105. 110. And then if it's given to us, then what we do is we bite off bits and pieces of that. We know we might have some money here, we can take that money. We may get a donation there, we take that money off it. So the town okays us for X amount of money, we get it, we get it agreed on, we get a bid, and then from there, we can reduce the cost to the town. So instead of having to pay 120 out of a revolving fund or out of taxpayers' money, we can bring it down to 80 grand or whatever. It's not taxpayers' money, it's user money. Yeah. yeah. So this, this project is not gonna come out of the overall budget. It's gonna come out of that line, that line item. Mm -hmm. That ha line item has to be appropriated at town meeting. Mm -hmm. So I think if we're on target, we can go to the spring town meeting. If not, we'll go to the, yeah, annual town meeting, we'll go to the special town meeting in the fall. But what would happen is you'd have to put on, so it will read, the article will read, um, to appropriate X amount of dollars to construct and build, blah, 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 but a basketball court. So, and the money's already been in there, it's just gonna appropriate it to do this. Now, if there's an extra $10,000 sitting in an account, and I'm just using that as a round number, that's supposed to be earmarked for this, that money would have to be donated to the town of Newberry as a gift. Yeah. And it would be earmarked for this project to offset that. And, and that would reduce the 110 total that we asked for. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then that money, well, whatever we don't spend, whatever they appropriate. Thank you so much, Mariah. Thank you. Whatever Enjoy. Don't, whatever, whatever is appropriated and not spent, the end of the year, fiscal year, ties out back into the, into the, into the revolving fund. Okay. I the meeting to ask Tracy, send an email to Tracy on this, but do we have the ability, so let's say Mariah's got a connection with Johnson Paving, and they're willing to donate that. Mm -hmm. But in all they're asking, can they put a sign on it saying, as a, like a sponsor or a, as a gift, are they allowed to do something like that? I think it would have to come before the board of selection, and they would have to vote on it. Okay. And, and uh, sorry. So it, would have to, it would have to adhere all, to all laws. It'd just be, yeah, it'd just be a straight 
strict sign that they put on the fence, they put them in play. Yeah. And stay home. They're trying to think of like, it's sort of their way of saying, all they're asking for is a little bit of PR for right. doing it, but if they're going to give us that, it's, I've seen right. the other one. So, right. okay. And they did that, and I know other, other like Aaron Field had signs out there. Yeah. But I'm sitting there going, okay, maybe the, the semi pro, where we get the court from, maybe they are willing to give us this, take a cut or break for the same idea. I'm just trying to find ways to help. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Because we'll have basketball, we'll try to get signage on the. That was the around. Before yeah. we go too far down that road, there yeah. are a number of uh, local residents that want to keep any signage uh, and advertisement off of that field. So, what happens with the whole. Um, Sign that we have right now is that just well, because just people who are using it? Okay, mm -hmm. not because then it gets to can I do Coca Cola? Can we do this? No, this we, is just going to be you know, thank you, thank so and so, yeah, for the donation for the you know, at least yeah. you know, yeah. I'll create, some, create, create one, one sign that does one sign and it take, keep this on and off as, yeah. as needed. Sounds mm -hmm. good. All right, so so number seven, it's coming out of the revolving funds, yep, yeah. 2019. No, was that the year? No, fiscal 2020. That's what she said, because this is part of fiscal 20. So, it, which is in July. So, we went to see them in April, knowing that this would come out starting in, and then we'd be okay. Okay, and so then that's all we need to put in seven. 2020 revolving yeah. funds. Yeah. Eight is zero. Do we know how much is in the revolving fund? Is that something you need to ask Eileen or Felicia or any email? We can send you the balance and yeah, that's going to that's going to be one of the questions they're going to ask us. How much they you should got? know. Last question. I think they should know. Tax Jeff Jeff should know. Jeff Lynn should know. Is it that much? Okay. I think we've seen it. The last time you've seen it, yeah. So that. So if they don't have it, I'll make we sure. We should provide it to say it's coming out. Make, well, we don't provide that. The town council. What I'm saying is, when we have our conversation with them, we will know how much money's in there. Yeah, I'm going to ask um, tomorrow. I'm going to email right now. Right. Okay, so now we're on to nine. Which is? Where, what did we do for? Eight is zero. Right? Zero, yes. What's a nine? Without zero. Money? Effect on that municipal income? I would say zero. It doesn't increase taxes or anything of that nature. Okay. Submitting authority is. So where are you tomorrow? Where am I tomorrow? In Boston with my father. Evening. Uh, home. To get a signature. You tell me where. Okay. We'll text you. You tell me. I'll find. That's it. all we have to do, right? No. What's the next one? For me. Yeah. That's pretty basic. That's all the time. That's why I think. I mean, that's my opinion on what it is. Town department priorities. It could be either new service or efficiency. What I check. Five, improve efficiency. Yeah. I didn't think it was a low one, but I didn't think it was anywhere to high. Priority. Yeah. Well, it's not mandatory, it's not maintenance. It's one of the two. If you look at it as a standalone, if, if you had people using it and they said, oh, we would be doing much better if we had it. It'd be easier to say if it improves the efficiency of that of that property. Oh, I right. I'm, I thought we agreed on number three. Was it number three or four? For a, I, I see it as a new service. I'm fine with either one. Uh, priority ranking. It's the only the potential draw, draw revenue it's off the only of thing it. We have for our it's the only thing we have. So, but is that is that our thing, or is that the for the town? No, it's for us. Oh, it's then, then, then so it's very high. Well, yeah, this this form is for say you have eight projects. You have to rate your own projects. Okay, so, so that, I thought I thought it was an overall for town. Then, so yeah, it's a ten. Projected lifespan. Yeah, yeah, well, you said fifteen years, so that's that's the middle of the road. Five. Effect on operating maintenance costs, unchanged. Mm -hmm. And then uh, affect on the revenues. Increase revenue. We hope. 
Well, I see that. Yeah, I, I would say. In Actually, I had said change. revenue is unchanged, but yeah, I mean, we hope to have revenue increased revenue out of it. And then uh, your ability to state funding and grants at this point, no. I said no. Okay, that's it. All right, so that's that piece there on the basketball. So, what's the next step? I'll pull this together and send it out to everybody. And you're going to let me know where to and, meet and, your time. And this, can, like this number six, can we say C attached? Yes, yeah, we're going to say C attached, attached to, for like four, five, six, seven, I think is what we have, unless you want to write it up. I can right use um, dot right. loop and put text boxes in and then type uh, 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 You want to make sure that it's easier uh, for them to read? Uh, uh, so it'll be typed in yeah. instead of written. It's in here. Yeah. She, she, she's she's can fit it all in here? That's great. Yeah, she'll just build a box that size. Yes. Okay. Okay. No, I'll field it. Don't worry. I, I'm not. She's got um, it. And then once we get it from you, she's can I go over it to Marshall and the capital plan so they well, have? He has to sign it first. I will sign it tomorrow. Okay, and then forward it. I can forward it to Marshall, or walk it over to him, and get it to the other two members and Tracy, so that they will have reviewed it before coming into the meeting. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. I'll sign it. Yes, I'm you can. Even if it's signed, not. It doesn't have to be signed. Send, yeah. Send it. Say we're gonna bring you a signed copy. Warrant out. So yeah. just send it. Once you're done with it, send it to them, and then just let me know where to meet you, and I'll give you the signed copy. I'll sign it that night. I should be back up to five tomorrow. Oh, you can start. Uh, fee schedule, format of fee change. We finished that, and that was. Ugh. So she's left, and I don't feel comfortable going over it. Left. Then we're gonna post. We're gonna table this until she comes back. My only are, recommendation when we discuss fees, I've been thinking a little bit about because there's gonna be a learning curve. Charging five and fifteen, and then going up to seven and twenty. So okay. that's, that's I, just my recommendation. Yeah, I don't think whatever we do, I think we should not say, okay, well, this is good for two years. I think we should do a year, okay. and then because all we're adjusting is the number. We're not adjusting the policy after that. We've already okay. done the we've already done the policy change and all the work there. It's just the dollar amount. Yeah, so yeah. Let's just put this thought on the agenda for the next. Are you concerned with pushback on the increase? Yep. A little bit. I think but my, my feeling with fees and all the years I've been involved in athletics is no matter what you put on for a fee, there's going to be pushback. Whether you put on the full amount, whether you reduce it for the first year and decrease it, you might get double the pushback if you put it on and reduce it and then increase it because now you got to deal with the original fee pushback and then you're going to get more pushback when you go to increase it two years later. So sometimes it's just, you know, put it out there and Deal with it once. Yeah, yeah and, and the other part about I, I we did all this research and we saw what other groups are charging, and I think that it's pretty much universal with all our research that we are way under what other groups are charging. Agree? Yes. Well, I think I, also the whole point of the exercise, sorry, is is to make people more accountable. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And so and my the ones that are yeah. So my only concern is that let's say that our new policy is five and fifteen or five and ten or whatever we decide to do. All of a sudden, there's like a light from God, and the users say, you know what, we can, you know, we don't need all these hours. And all of a sudden, what we were, and I don't know what the numbers are, but let's say, you know, the ping pong group that has been using it for a year has been paying ten thousand every year. All of a sudden, they figure out that we don't really need that many hours and now they're 4,000 we don't you know we may take a hit that first year then we have to readjust and, and figure out. so that's what I'm thinking what's the anticipated uh, amount of revenue to expect from the 5 and 15 oh I'd have to look at that because uh, I, in my opinion when you look at numbers the critical factor is what do we anticipate bringing in so it's not it's not, hard to anticipate so we can talk, like have a little breakdown. It's hard to anticipate because the whole point is to adjust the 
the amount of time that's reserved. So what number do you want to anticipate on? What they currently rent or what the adjustment would be? Does that make sense? Yep. Yes, it does. Again, part of the analysis is, and I, I started an announcement, which I gave to everybody, looking at the different models that different towns use. And the idea was, it's five and 15. How much do we expect to generate? If we're only generating $10,000 and our expenses are $20,000, that doesn't do us <coughs> justice. Would you like but to get the I breakdown? The, the, re the reason why you can't answer that question is that it depends who's renting the power. You know, if, 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 if an outside user rents all the hours, then the, gen the, the rate's going to be, you know, $50,000. We, we, we're, we're, we're using the higher number. Plus all the hours and the numbers be higher. Is that? I, 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 under, I understand where you're, that there is And the whole unknown. drive of all this was not because of changing revenue. It was yeah, just to become change. current with what kind of was happening. In but also the well, shifting it from my personal opinion, at least on this, was, was taking it away from them in regards to not being relying on them for information. Where here it's like we're now controlling the hours because we're also being asked to get other groups that want to have the time, and if we're, we're the ones allocating the hours, we're the ones that are more in charge of that, because we're responsible for it. Because in a way, we are diving into the deep unknown. Yeah. Well, there is a, level, certainly there is an unknown. There's no, we would not be able to specifically state the process is going to do X number of hours. The analysis that I gave gave a, a big span. So we can say, if we had these numbers, and these are very similar to what we had, my guess is this is going to generate probably thirty-seven to forty-two thousand dollars, which is sufficient to cover our costs as it relates to our appropriation. And and again, our cost maintenance costs have gone down by almost half, and that's why we were getting the fifty thousand dollars. So we shouldn't be charging more money that would generate. That would be double taxation on our, our citizens. So it's not double taxation. We had this conversation last week. I was the here. money that was last meeting, that the money we are appropriating is not from it's from taxes. That's not the only choice. Yeah, and so again, because if the money we bring in, if if we wanted to go the other route and make lots of money for the town, then we bring the prices way up and basically put our users in jeopardy because they have budgeted the way they've been doing things and get a whole new group of people in here to start using it. So we may not have GPS, but we may have another private soccer group that's gonna pay us $35 an hour to use the fields or you know some other group because people are paying lots of money to, to use soccer fields. And as it's, you know. I know, you, the agreement is five and 15, right? So I'm not going to dispute that. I guess what I'm suggesting is we have an analysis. Again, part of our responsibility is, is not necessarily looking at what other people do. What does it mean for our town and, and our approaches? I don't know how many fields, like Newbury for it, how, how their system worked. Some people paid, some didn't. But they're actually trying to get more fields because they don't have enough space for their, their recreation teams where they can't. That's why they can't have uh, for soccer and lacrosse. That's why soccer gets a preferential. Each town is very different. We have to do what's right for the town here. And that's 515, and that's it. That's it. What's right, well, we took into account what, so there's two different things here. There's the change to the hourly rate. Yep, that we okay. agree upon. And the reasoning for that was because um, twofold. Over, over booking. Over, over, yeah, kind of yeah. a, a yeah. Typical thing, Over Sunday afternoon at three o'clock, you go out there and there's and one game And then also going that on our users were the ones generating the invoice instead of us being able to okay. generate the invoice back. So that that's so now the rate, the setting of the rate was to try and keep the user, the youth users, whole and putting a little bit more onus on the for profit, but not trying to generate a hundred thousand dollars a year. I mean, we weren't going crazy off the deep end. And I think that's where we picked our numbers and we were trying to be relatively fair. Well, I, mean, I think that's the key to good fees is being fair. And if you've done your research and you've really realized what other towns are paying or how they're doing their things and you come up with these as the as a fair um, you know decision, 
And I think that's the way it's going to be looked at. Is this fair in retrospect to other towns and what you know what's what's our surrounding communities are doing? So what we need to do is re. I mean, all that data that we accumulated is a year old. Mm -hmm. We could stand to include that in our presentation because it's not all. It's not apples and apples. It's all it's all fruit, but it's not. Well, cut and dry. It's, it's kind of a little vague. Just, just including the research that I did on what other club teams pay yeah. for field usage, and that was it, you know different than youth sports. Just to give everybody an idea, from the research we had done in regards to looking at the five, seven, and ten dollar increments for the two trike programs, and I looked at ten, fifteen, and twenty. So. If we go to five and 15, based on the hours that they've used, so try to be consistent across it, GPS would have gone up for the, for, to go from their current figure to a $15 fee. They would have increased over the two years, so that's four seasons, a total of $9,600 if I go into that. Triton Youth Soccer would go up $2,000, and Triton uh, or Lacrosse would go up $300. Based on the hours that they've used and set right now, so lacrosse is pretty much right there. Soccer is not far off, and yeah, GPS is taking a little bit of a hit. If we go to seven, so a total of 12 grand, that's additional money that we would get by just going to five and 15. Based on the hours they've used over the last two years, so really it's 6,000 a year. It's not a major thing. If we went to the seven and 20, which was the other option we were thinking of going, GPS would go up $27,000 over the two years, so 13,500 each year. Soccer would go up $8,500, so $42,500, and lacrosse would go up $3,800, again, based on their hours, so $1,900 a year. We're for a total of about $39,000. They can reduce that. Yes, they and that's the same. To keep it as apples and apples. Here's the hours you asked for, here's the fee when we restructure it, this is what it ends up being. Could they reduce both those numbers? I mean, lacrosse, all they do is cut a few hours out, and bang, they're back to where they were before, and they're not worrying about it. Um, soccer, GPS would do the same thing. And then that leaves hours available for us to do some flipping. It's just to give you an idea of numbers based on what we were using before and what we have. Those are the two scenarios. So well, we need to pull that data together again. Yeah. I did send an analysis of what was it, the five or six different miles that regional three area towns use and broke it down with using the numbers that we had from Mike, the projections of they would anywhere from 300 hours to 900 hours that we could account for a certain amount of uh, when did you send that? that was September that was right before the, the we sat down that was the board document he had and, and you with were, all the different things with it and Michael was here and he said oh I like the if you can guarantee me this amount and, and the whole idea was to show the different models out there and an analysis of what we're doing in relation to um, so I guess the question is, should we go back and re-contact the, are you, uh, what you're asking, are we, should we go back and revisit the different communities we did and ask them what their numbers are today, or? If they change. Just to confirm that yeah. our data is accurate. Okay, that's and, fine. And current. I yeah. don't anticipate it's changed, but no. I just feel like we as a if, subcommittee well, did this. If you think it's changed, you think it went up or down? I don't think it's changed. I, just, I don't think it's I just think that if I'm going to go a year later in front of a committee, I want to make sure my data yeah, is and, yeah. and, and, and We need to include that in the presentation, yeah. so we need to. That's I have that chart that I pulled together. Um, I can recall you know, all the other I don't think yeah. I don't think any prices are going down. Um, especially when I went and, and called our local private schools that had similar type of things, their rates were, and, 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 yeah, I mean, we're talking, Easily. you know, Governor Dummer, or sorry, Governor's Academy, their prices were 10 or 15, yeah, times, so. But that, that's sort of, again, that, that is somewhat moot because they, they are private, they don't have to rent it. Oh, no, 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 and they, they said that. But the thing is, it's available fields. And so that's what it is, it's, it's real estate, and I think that's what we're doing. <coughs> and we want to keep our users in there. But I think the idea is that we have these, we have this asset, 
um, it's being utilized by a group that we you know we don't have any control on. And if we did, then there might be some value to that. As a private institution, they can charge you one price, you a different price. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, no, no, they keep. They're not allowed to. No, no, they keep their price. Everyone I talk to had a consistent. He's saying price. yes, they can. They, You're saying they don't. Say, they just have ways to preference. Go, I can go to a private school here and run a lacrosse camp and not have to pay the same price if Alicia wanted to do it. Because they, they can do that. Yeah. No but if Alicia and I went to the same place, to the town of Newberry, and we're both running the club, our prices would have to be, you can't negotiate a price for me or for them. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's a private entity, they can, they can charge or not charge. We're not comparing our rates to you. But David was. Because all it was was, you're saying yes, they can choose it because public versus private is a different story. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to the publics, go back to the municipalities and say, here's the numbers, make sure, here's what we have. Are they current? Great. If not, what are they? And if they've gone up, yeah, that's as far as our story. But you can use those numbers when you are using, trying to determine numbers um, for your for profit. Yes, yes. And, and, and that's they what I'm saying. Going out to those other banks. Yeah, that's that was the spending. But we don't know what they're spending. That, we do. No, how? How do you know because what? Because I call. And who did you talk to? I talked to Woodward High School. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we're great. I talked to the town of Sherburn. I have the president. <laughs> I call them. Okay. And so okay. what I'm saying too is that like, when I when I when I called like Hamilton one of them, they said, well, we don't have the, we have like a single field, but people usually rent. Uh, Pingree, and Pingree's price, along with Governor's and along with um, Ennecott College, are all 10, 15 times what we need. And, 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 so you know, I, it, that's okay. I, I mean, I think we have all, all, so very fair numbers. The, the best way to do this is we have, I think our numbers are, we can spot check it, see what we got. If the numbers for some crazy reason have dropped, then we need to dig in more. Yep. But realistically, I don't see the numbers going down, so I think what we have is pretty comfortable. We've already voted and approved the, pro uh, the format, yep. so now we're shifting to an hourly. Yep. The question, the only question that needs to be determined that we need to justify is what two numbers, for local and for the uh, private groups that are coming through. We've already talked about weekends and for for group for the public and for uh, profit groups as well, those have all been set. And I'm at least I'm comfortable with those numbers that we have, that we pulled together for that. So really, it's just a question of five fifteen, seven twenty. At least in my eyes, if you guys feel differently, please speak up. No, I, I think we I'm should. Just I, 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 one way or the other. I think that the idea of just confirming our prices that that other municipalities that are doing apples for apples things. And where we're at. That's what. That's what. Okay. I'm so we'll, we'll just come to a final vote the next meeting. Yep. I'll make sure my eyes here. Make sure my eyes here. And unless someone comes up with something different, the choice is going to be five and fifteen and seven and twenty, and that'll be the choices we'll have. I'll put the motion on there. We'll have a quick discussion on it, and then vote on it, and that'll be what we present. Present. We'll propose to present to the four selectmen. You're going to do your. You're going to do your updating, checking the numbers, and yep. running committee yep. and send that out, like as information before the vote, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're not doing it again until January, right? We haven't discussed that yet. That'll be coming out okay. So actually, while I was waiting here, I pulled side note. Yes. I was going through um, okay, Facebook. Sure. Just some ideas kicking around for next summer. We've discussed movie night and camp night. Yeah. They, uh, there's a town nearby having flashlight candy cane hunt <sighs> with Coco, Fire, and Santa, and holiday music. Isn't so, that so, 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 so the next Christmas? <gasps> That'd be cool. Yeah, so, yeah. But I, I think that the general theme, though, is that we need to find a place to build a fire pit so we can have all these. There's a big place on, uh, what is it, Central Street? Like where we yeah, I don't, I don't think the, uh, the, the the owners were going to be really happy about their building the building. That, that asset, as you called it. Yeah. 
No, there's, there's areas out there, too. Well, when you have the bonfire, you don't put the spider pot next to them. Right. Can we, can we put yeah. it in the music? Yeah. 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 Another type of community yeah. that bring people But together. isn't that, oh, and then the other one, the other one was like a kite, a kite, I don't know if there's enough wind to let her. It's erratic. Well, yeah, certainly, kind of there's certainly enough on Plum Island. I mean, yeah. oh, like a bunch like a of we don't have to have a mansion. We have some place else. But you go on. that this, on the beach, that would be cool. New Perry, yeah, there's plenty of wind over there. That, this is Those partly, are like free events where you just host it from like you know from one to three. Bring your yeah. right on such and yeah. such a time. I mean, we can see, like, see if we have now because they do sledding in there and provide hot cocoa. But I don't. I I thought about that. It would be nice to have, like, let's say it's community sledding night or whatever. But does that become a problem with insurance? Like, all of a sudden, we I think there's a liability if someone's going down on a sled and gets hurt. Yeah. But they already do. They That's have, the question. They carry insurance for that stuff. Do they? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have to. They have to be on the field. Plus, they carry their own insurance. Real quick on the new business, let's at least make sure if I, mean, if I need to take these off the next meeting. Scheduling software options. Uh, we still need to discuss that. No, we do, but we, so the, there was, we looked into what other towns were doing, and Mariah and I looked at it, and Mark looked at it. Mariah and I felt it was more than what we needed at this level, that we could always implement it down, down the line. Mark seemed to think that we should look at it more closely, so we deem to keep it on the and, and Please, again, if, if there's a way we can get the entire town on one system, so somebody could look up, oh, there's this happening at the library, this is happening here, the rec committee's doing this. It, it would be nice, as opposed to having two separate calendars. I mean, we could pull out one calendar like the Y does, it one swim schedule. To be discussed later. Okay. Bubble soccer, discussion options. I love the idea, I think that's I have cool, a, it's fun, but. Because of your interest in it, this sort of ties into it, also something else new, if you don't want to talk about it, at great lengths, I understand. But if we were to have one day a week, one, one time this summer, one day, where we use this, bubble soccer, as part of a bigger venue to acknowledge all the volunteers that make this town happen. So we have a volunteer party, we have the, like we have the selectmen and the town administrator, chief of police serving food or serving us in another capacity. Soccer has a day on the field at this time. Well, the cross is over here, so it's busy. We have a band we work with. Five or three yards to have two or three things, so it doesn't conflict with them, but they can have music. And it's a big celebration. Maybe the fire department goes back to making their chicken dinners, and it's just a day to say to the volunteers, you make things happen. I'll have a proposal for the next meeting. That sounds cool. That sounds nice. great. Hold on to mine. I'll leave it on. Signage, getting the sign up. Getting the sign up. A big sign. Um, huh? It hasn't happened. I've talked to James about it. When it, when he gets his crew ready, they are out at the field today working on the second retaining wall. Um, he'll get to it, and that's what he said. Is okay. this the uh, sign that Tracy made? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the other signage that we talked about, again, um, the, he wants to put up a sign, uh, and again, we should allocate money for this, to put on the gate that we need to buy and have them make, you know, have them make them purchase. Uh, that closes off the back end of the field so that people can't get there during the spring and put a sign. Uh, we talked about the parking. Uh, the least intrusive method would be to have a sign on that post as you're going through the post behind the building. Have a sign, do not park on the grass or stay off the grass, something to that effect. They're reluctant to put down signs along the basketball quarters. Yep. Hopefully that will come up. And then around. Um, the septic hill, and then a down and back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know. I understand that, but I see people driving right by that. Side. Well, then, oh, yeah, right yeah. And, 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 and I've talked to uh, the, the police chief, and he said we can help enforce it. it may not necessarily be good there. Remind them. We can talk to the teams. We could talk to the teams and say well, they we will yeah. start tick ticketing if Just this continues. Say, but we have a sign. Please, the field, please, so please stay off this yeah. because we can't say you never be on it because sometimes people have to be there. But give them fair notice, don't park on the grass, and he would put it right in that one spot as opposed to having 17 spots. That's when is the, uh, you probably know this, what are our plans as far as keeping people out of the back? The idea was to make a swing gate 
that could be installed where those posts yeah, yeah, are. Yeah. We just have to allocate whatever the money is, which is called plata, the necessary funds to. They could chain it off for the winter. That's the other. They can, but they want to. They want to make it more permanent, more. Okay. I, I, I just. Why is yeah. it? Why is it? Why are we putting a bill for this? And I'm just playing. Because it's because it's the recreation department. All right. The whole idea of putting the fences up that we already purchased. This is a continuation of it. Tell, tell James as soon as he gets as soon as he gets our signs up, and we'll be more than happy to look at that. So the thing is that. Only kidding, James. This kind of happens a lot where things, expenses come up that we can't budget because we don't know enough. I've talked about a spending plan for a long time. Right. Okay, and, and some of the stuff was included in the last one I presented. I know. Okay. So yeah, we can't budget, but we have $50,000 minus this, there's money there. I'm not saying there isn't. Okay. We just have to make sure we know what it is and we're accounting for it as much as we can. Because we're going to have to leave our contingency, our funds at the end, so we know what we're looking at. So if we want to spend the extra, I would think any committee would be doing that. You want to spend the money so you can justify what it is, but you're going to have to leave something in case it doesn't come up what you want it to yeah. do. Such as the volunteer thing, such as the, the, the candy cane thing. Just nothing crazy, but but $5,000 for spring gate, that's going to be, we're going to have to be. And that's well, if you don't it'll use it, it'll tie back. It'll tie back again. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. It, it, the actual well, cost let's make sure that gives us 50000 each year. We, we're using well, it Well, I think that. Revolution Protective can be lower this year. Yeah. After it just gave us all, you know, all that money away from the maintenance and all the other things we're getting added to now. Yeah. yeah. But we can have that discussed when we see everything. Okay. I, I, yeah, I need to go on vacation, so hopefully I asked her to pull it. That's why I go up the room. I asked her to pull okay. that down for the morning meeting. It, my only concern is about the gates or not or the chains is just to minimize because we already know it happened once before it would be nice to be able to say up to December 5th let's close off that back end. I'll talk to ask him if you put a chain up for now I mean I, I, I put the horses up and I I would go back and forth and I put the horses up to try because that was back in the when everything was really really mushy and I kept on putting the horses up and they'd be pulled down and moved over so yeah, I will I will swing by there tomorrow and see them while they're working in the wall, ask them to put a chain up. But in the meantime, maybe the next meeting, if we put it on the agenda, we vote on, if, is it going to be 5000 again? My guess is going to be uh, supplies $1,483. Oh. But we give them ample to, to get it done. You also have to remember, you might have a $50,000 budget every year, but if something comes up and you need to do it, you can still spend that money. And then at the special town meeting, they will just move it. Yeah, but we're, I, we're trying to be responsible, right. do things right. The people have been nice enough. Well, I'm sorry, they hadn't left us. We, we, you volunteers, board. the board <laughs> volunteered us for this wonderful job, and we're trying to do the right, right. thing. Right. So, so, but sometimes doing the right thing, you get overspend a little bit because yeah. it's unforeseen. So you can. There is a method to get yeah. that. So well, especially right. something like Dave mentioned that if you're really trying to keep people out of there for a purpose, then it's it. Um, it much it's better to spend the money, money up front instead of have an issue later where you should have said to yourself, well, why didn't somebody just put a gate there? Right, because yeah. it could be yeah. Yeah. more in the long run if they exactly. should. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. 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 All right, we have a few minutes left. This link said she had to leave early. It's on, on, early. on time. I apologize for that. Uh, septic, frequency of service. We already know what it is, and they're done for the year. Uh, the frequency of service. Oh, no, that was, that was for the, uh, the, the, the field house. We were talking about that. Yeah, did you anybody find out the size of the tank? No, I don't no. know. Some, somebody was going to call. Um, no, I heard someone say Pearson. Did they install it? I don't know. I, seen I have no idea. Shouldn't it be on time? No, it was before us. No, it was before us. Uh, it was before us. That was, I think that it was uh, the whole mantra thing because I yes. think that they backfilled it Does with James that. James Jones installed so. the septic system? So does Mantra do, did Mantra do septic at that point? I think John Hartnett might have done that. Okay. And that's what dug up the, the whole issue of, when he was doing that, that dug up a lot of other stuff. Possibly. So I just think there's a quick email to Tracy that says, what's the size of the septic tank? Do you do it? Thank you. You're welcome. GPS had some requests I have on here, so I apologize from the last month. You, you made a, it was in the minutes, a, a few minutes, minutes ago, you moved 
spending them three hundred dollars for their uh, programming. Did you do those minutes? I I don't know if they were sent out. I, I know we that's what we did. I have November seventeenth, I believe it is. Spending plan, what Mark just mentioned, we're going to need to put that together. Uh, meeting calendar, it's going to be part of the software. Staying at the library. No, the meeting calendar is just so, was more so their Monday meetings at 6 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Whatever. And that's the thing because Monday seemed to be a problem for Mariah. I don't know what your nights. We've always chosen the first Monday of the, of the month. But, I mean, unfortunately, when things get crazy, either holiday wise or something happens, or we need to meet more often because of like the um, the different forms and stuff we've updated. Right. But generally speaking, and I'll send, I'm going to send an email just to ask everybody what day and time you guys prefer. Um, Tuesday actually doesn't work out bad, at least on my end. I don't know about the rest of you. Are we conflicting? Do you want the board of selectmen meeting tomorrow? The board of selectmen meets every other second and fourth Tuesday of the month. So, so we, we, just meet the we meet the first, first Tuesday of the month. Um, but I'll, I'll send the email out and just make sure we just check. Yes, we're going to have conflicts here and there. Just remember, with six members on this board, we have got to have four people. When we get to seven, we still have to have four people. But right now, only two can't make it. So if you can't make it, you need to let me know. Uh, or most of the emails I send out are to the everybody anyway. So let's just don't sort of count in that, in that number. But we certainly love having you here because it certainly helps out. So I'll send the email on that and then um, <coughs> send a proposed date. Because the first Tuesday of the month is the 8th of July, uh, 8th of January, July. 8th of January, so that would be the next proposed time from 6 to 7.30 if we can do it. What is that date? It'd be 1, 6, excuse me, 1, 8 one at 6 o'clock, 7.30. I will send out an email to everybody. Uh, Skating at the library? Yeah, what do you say? So, 6 to 7.30? You're going to tell me you have a board meeting that night, aren't you? Yeah, because the first Tuesday of the month is January 1st. Is it really? So the second would be the 8th. Board, of the board meeting the 8th and the, and the 22nd. Oh, okay. I thought I was skipping that date. Some months listening. we have five meetings. <laughs> and that's that one. Um, so you could meet at 6, 6 to 7. You can meet. Why don't we do the 5.30 then 5.30 to 7 then that night? But we're trying to make, but we're going to have to make sure the following month that we get back to the first so we're not conflicting with the board. So 1 8 19. And the other thing, too, is you got to look at the assessors. I think the assessors, let me look at their schedules. I think the board of assessors meets before the board of selectmen comes to the table. Let me look on that. Either that, we're going to have to choose another night. Maybe we want to choose Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday night, you might conflict with the planning board, but see if, I think Wednesday night might be a good night. We're just trying to find a more consistent schedule, so. Are, are these um, cameras mobile or not? Yes. We can meet down there if we need to. Because worst case scenario is we do have a building on Central Street, nice room. Really? Yeah, but I think the town really wants you to try to meet in certain locations, but you can always meet at the library, too. Does the library have to be a, a camera? So if yeah, mobile, the camera's there. Okay. So. Awesome. I'm just thinking about uh, other sort of All right, I'll look at I'll look at the calendar, send it out. If he has problems with dates, we'll go from there and we'll figure out what we got. But as of right now, I'm looking at one eight at five thirty. If anything changes, <coughs> we'll figure it from there. Um, ultra, ultimate reserving weekends in April or May to our blocks. That was ultimate frisbee. Mark, we talked about. I just want to confirm that we have two fields on a Saturday or a Sunday, preferably Sunday, but it might be hard with everybody's schedule. Um, for ultimate disc, we have a we do a blast three weeks, two fields for two hours from eleven ten thirty or so to twelve thirty. So ten to one. To Let's see. Ten. Uh, Give me a chance to warm up so they have the music. So three and, and they're looking at that time so when they conclude they can go to an area uh, establishment to discuss strategies. Um, two fields. What day? Two fields. Either April or May, we just don't know yet. Saturday. We would host them, so they're not paying anything. 
to see if there's a interest in this area to generate. If two there is fields one time? Two fields each time. How many times? A total of three times. So six times. So six um, I'm not trying fields. to get you on the hook. Three on days. The, on the three days. Block here, but how many short problems that can be? Three consecutive uh, on Sundays or on game days? Yeah, that's <coughs> Sundays or Sundays. Set up, well, it would be to go working with our you other users to say, what can you do? That's why I was kind of, yeah. I'm, he's, you're here. And that's why I was like, I'll ask. Well, I'm just, cur just curious to see. In one when, yeah, on a Saturday, well, it, 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 well, yeah, You said we'll Saturday, right? Saturday or a Sunday. Well, you just said Sundays are tough because that's their game day, so would you rather, what would be easier? I presume the Saturdays. Yeah. 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 So let's see if we can get them to do it the Saturday dates. Give us the dates and then we let them know ahead of time in Crown Hall. We're going to give them, give them three or four months notice before the season starts and go from there. And this is spring? spring. Yes. Uh, last week in April, first two weeks in May, so we know the fields are pretty much available. Uh, again, a couple of hours. They should be able to, to do it. They it's not the whole day, so it's just, it's just two, three hour block. Three hour block currently, currently, the board of selectmen is meeting. So we're, yeah, see them. So five, 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 five thirty. Five thirty. I can't get down to that fast one. All right. Um, so we have those hour blocks. So you know, starting the last week of April, the first two weeks of May, those two Saturdays, those three Saturdays. Somebody know. Let us if you let us know. That'd be great. Somebody drop an email or or if you want to come to that meeting. Any other questions, comments? Can you, you, oh no. I, I, well, I just get one. That was what he wanted to say. Sorry. Um, girls soccer over the summer. They have a summer program where they play s between six and ten home games. It's about an eight or ten week thing. It, they pay a small fee to be part of it. It's kind of glorified pickup practices. games. Yeah, and it's just a scrimmage with another town. Uh, what sort of a fee or who, what sort of fee would what they What are you talking about? Are you talking during the summer months? Yeah. yeah. So the fields are empty. It's once a week. Yes. For six weeks. Six, well, it's like eight weeks, and they play Tuesday, Thursday, and... So one of the games would be away, one would be home. Yeah. So one one field? Yes. One field for... An hour and a half. Huh? For an hour and a half per game, max. So an hour and a half, once a week, one field. Six, for, six, for six times? Six to ten. I don't know say, say, split it, say eight. Yeah. Eight, 12 hours. 50, 60 bucks. Well, I, I would think that, so the problem is, is that we can't just say that. Right now, we are falling under the jurisdiction of the $35. So we have to charge $35 right? a person right now right? to do that mm -hmm. for, but they have the hours they want. In the proposal that I sent out, and I'll get you a copy of it, yep, thank you. Um, Dave. The idea was for captain's practices, it would be a nominal fee. The other thing that would have to be done is an agreement with, and it's already in, in the committee, um, Triton Youth Soccer to know that their nets are going to be in use because it's theirs. Although in the agreement, Andy left them fields open for public use. Um, it was something trivial, like $100 for the whole thing. but. And again, people have to recognize, and this goes to the town, they are not affiliated with the school. So, and they cannot be affiliated with the school, even though they say Triton, and they're the high school team. Uh, they won't be able to have an insurance waiver. So we have to figure out how to allow them to play without the insurance if we accept money from them. If we don't accept money from them, then there's less expectations of coverage regarding them. Because they are not. I have to find out what's going on with the insurance because there's a problem. We haven't got a change back. Change back for that. We don't think it'll be anything unreasonable. <clears throat> we certainly don't want that to be one of our right. current tenants type of thing. So we'll we just have to figure out a 
Well, as Mark said, he's, he's the extra piece there was all of a sudden, without the insurance and they're not part of the school, that don't occur. I'm just trying to figure it out because they did it last year. I know you guys are looking at us to see what we're all about. That's what I know about the girls. The boys, if they do something, they might do something similar. I don't know. Yeah. Again, not, not just yes, yeah, and I understand, but that's perfect. I appreciate it very much. I'll let them know, and we'll we'll, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll try. I may mean, not have an answer in January. Uh, I'll tell them before. Can I? Okay. At least get it ten before, so they know they're they're in the lead. We'll figure something out. And they have no way of doing through high school. No. Okay. It, it's um. Is it cost prohibitive, or does the school allow the money to do it? I don't think it's just their separate part. Just a bunch of little towns that get together and it's good glorified scrimmage for people okay. on the field. So we'll just tell them to start working on it and we'll we'll piece them up. We certainly want to work with them on it, so mm -hmm. that's my opinion at least. Okay. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Yes. I make a motion to adjourn meeting at seven um, uh, did you thirty four. Guys get the policy to the board of directors? No. Did, right? Oh no, is it still with town council? No, it just came to me tonight at six oh three from Ellen because I didn't order to anybody. Okay. Okay, are we seconded in the Yeah, I'd say all those in favor?